Hello, hello, and welcome to Nails for the Week. My name is Lori, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I know I am, because I have got Clear Jelly Stamper Vintage Collection. It's a set of seven different polishes, and I thought I would swatch them with you to see if you like them, or you could see how well they perform. Now, first off, when I'm doing swatches for stamping polishes, I always use these round labels that I got from the dollar store. I think they're just Jot brand. They are shiny surface, but I haven't had any problems with polish coming off of them at all. And I've used them for all of my stamping polishes. And then I just take a Sharpie and fill in half of the sticker with black. That way I get a good good swatch as far as black or white and see how the polish performs over both colors. By the way, if you want to know what's on my nails right now or see how I did my nails, I'll put a link in the iCard below or above. Okay, and I use the smaller end. There's my nails, pretty. I use the smaller end of that stamper because it fits almost perfectly onto those little stickers. So, and I always use this stamper or this plate too because it's got both smaller images and thicker, thinner and thicker images, and I know that the plate works really well. We're going to start off with the lavender color number 71 I believe and there you go looks pretty good I really like it over white and it does seem to look pretty good over black too usually don't have a problem with that at all with clear jelly stamper products they are one of the best stamping polishes on the market. And if you're looking for a good range of colors, they're definitely the best as far as range goes. Range and quality. You definitely cannot buy a Born Pretty polish and expect it to work. Oh, number 78. Expect it to work anything like a Clear Jelly Stamper one. Or polish. Okay, here's number 79. It's the pink of the collection. And all these colors have like a dusty, dusky, dusty hue to them. So they're just a little bit grayed out. Hence the vintage. I was not impressed with the pink. You could really see the black in that pink. It just didn't, did not perform as well as I would expect a clear jelly stamper polish to perform. It is the blue in the collection. I like that color blue, because I'm a blue girl myself. That one looks pretty good. All the thin swirly lines and the thick lines all come out really good. This next one is the orange. Now, I was pretty sure that I <laughs> shook this one up really well, number 81, in case you care. But I did not on that first time. See how on the plate it looks nasty, thin, and then on the polished wand it looked 
I mean, there was that red there. And now, after I gave it a really good shake, like, really good shake, it's a lot thicker. So just remember to always, always shake your bottles really, really well for stamping bottles. Let's go orange. It's more kind of like a peachy than an orange. A little grayed out peachy color. Which is quite pretty. And I'm not into oranges, but I did like this color. And it's a little bit, you know, not great on the black, but maybe a little bit of little action. Every time I do this, every time I do any stamping, I always think of that. I don't know if anybody's a Harry Potter fan, but swish and flick. Flick. <laughs> if you've ever, if you know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment down below. But it's always swish and flick. And there is the yellow. Also not the greatest. I'm just not really sure about this collection <laughs> from Clear Jelly. I mean, usually they are dead on, spot on, all of them. There are a couple I don't knows in here. The pink has got to be hard to make. Green. And there we have the green. That one looks pretty good. And this one is like a khaki cream color, like a ball color, which. I'll probably use it all the time just because I said it was poor. Swish, swish, and flick. There we have it. And there we have it. The vintage collection from Clear Jelly Stamper. All in all, it's a pretty good collection. If you want to buy this whole collection, you can You can buy it as a whole for the same price as per bottle. If you want to save 50 cents, you can go through and the pick your own six polish bundle and then just add the other one on top of it. It'll save you 50 cents. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Bye!